Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your PlayStation 5 where you keep getting that blinking blue light. Now if for some reason this happens to you, the first thing I would recommend doing is to fully restart and power down your PlayStation 5. So if you have the ability just holding down that power button until it you know, fully shuts off or just simply unplugging everything from your console, letting it sit there for like a couple minutes and then plugging everything back in and turning it back on and seeing if that fixed the problem. Now if that ended up fixing the problem, then you are set. It was probably just some random bug and you're pretty much good to go. If for some reason that didn't fix it, the next thing you pretty much have to do is to boot your console into safe mode. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to hold down the power button of your PlayStation 5 until you hear two beeps. So you'll hear the first beep when it turns on, then you hear another one. And when you hear that second one, you want to let go and then your console will pretty much boot up into safe mode. If you see it on your screen, then all you want to do here is to actually see and click that number three option, which is that update system software. Now it may change in the future, but right now you want to click that update system software and you want to see if there is an update available for your console. If there is, you want to go ahead and update your console. This is one of the easiest things you can do to actually fix this problem. And after you update, you're probably going to be good to go. There's probably not going to be too many issues as of this point. If you're able to update it and it goes through when you reboot your console and it works, then that was pretty much all you had to do at that point. Point. Now, if for some reason that didn't work, there may be some other things you can do. You can try looking for an update again. You can try clicking that restart PlayStation 5, that number one option. But ultimately, you may have to go ahead and actually restart and reset your PlayStation 5. So what this means is you pretty much just go ahead and reinstall the whole entire system. So everything's pretty much going to be deleted. Now, if you didn't make a backup, you may still have some backups available in game if you log into your account. But you may also have like an external SSD. You had some games, you know, built in there too. So not all hope is lost. You will still be able to to recover some in-game data. So if you're ready, you can go and click reset PlayStation 5, which reinstalled the system software. And then once you do that, you're probably going to be good to go after it's going to take a little bit of time. And then you can boot back into your PlayStation 5 and you should be good to go. If for some reason that still doesn't work, you may have to contact Sony to actually go ahead and have them take a look at your console, but typically you should be good to go for the most part as of this point. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.